What's your favorite section of the track on the Nürburgring with this car? There are several sections where you can use this acceleration out of the turn. And Good evening guys and welcome to the Nürburgring, the world's most exciting, awesome, mind-blowing racetrack. And I've been fortunate enough to spend here six years of my lifetime and to lap many, many, many cars, experience many exclusive cars. And after today, my life will become a lot easier because I get questioned asked a lot. So after many of these years, what's the most exclusive and exciting car that you were fortunate enough to experience? Well, that answer is about to become very clear. It is going to be Bugatti Chiron Pour. Now, because of some circumstances that are completely irrele irrelevant to the car and also irrelevant to further explain, we were not able to do a complete lap like flat out. So I'm going to insert the sections that really matters where you can really feel the acceleration as far as you can feel it through the video. And after the exciting part, make sure to stick around because we are going to go for a cruising lap together with the head of chassis development, Yahin, who is going to explain us all the ins and outs, what makes the Chiron Puss Paw makes me speechless. Yeah, so enjoy the lap. I think we can bring some more excitement now. Absolutely, it's like something that, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the power is absolutely constant. And the, the speedometer is in miles, correct? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you cannot really feel the difference. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're, it, it's good that it's there because, yeah, you're doing like over 200 kilometers an hour, 120 miles per hour, like within, what, five seconds? <laughs> it's, yeah, absolutely fantastic. <laughs>
right now we're going to talk about how amazing this car is. A quick reminder to the people who don't know yet what the Chiron Plus Po is. It is, of course, you have the regular Chiron. Again, what a day to be alive to have a regular Chiron. And the Plus Po is an actual track spec car, if I may say so. Exactly. So the, the philosophy of the Chiron is that we are creating a Chiron family. So last year we did a world record. That means straight line performance. And uh, just to get even more out of the Chiron, we decided, okay, the straight line performance is what we showed. Now we need something which is um, more to, to driving dynamics, to yeah, track spec, to handling oriented car. And this is the pure sport. Is it something that you decided to make because you thought that there's going to be uh, like demand for it? Or was there actually demand from customers who wanted to have a track oriented car and that you decided to make it because of that? Yeah, let me put it that way. We, d we had a lot of um, replies from customers who had um, imagined to have a more emotional and dynamic car and the idea combined out of the customer request and our technical understanding was okay we should do a car which is from your personal feeling a more dynamic car which turns faster is um, a little bit stiffer in, um, in moving a stiffer chassis new tire new camber and um, it's not just feeling faster, it's of course from the physics faster. So that means we really gained physical um, performance and the car is really made for people who want to drive and in turns in corners who like lateral dynamics because we decided to have more camber on the tires and this was... How much camber are you running? Right now we're running two and a half degrees with the new Michelin tires. That all around or just... The... All around. Okay. Oh. All around. So we're coming from... Uh, one degree ten in front and one degree in the rear, so that's a big gain of camber. And this was the intention to get the tires working in a better way. How many laps have you spent, or like kilometers, in this car? You think as a development driver? Um, from my side, personal was like five thousand kilometers only for the pure sport. Overall, we did of course a lot of kilometers. Um, the driving dynamic team is did like 30,000 kilometers, but this is just for one derivative of the Chiron family. Of course. The, the overall Chiron family, when we, when we count the kilometers, we came to one million. One million, wow. From the driver perspective, what's the most fascinating part, part about this car? Uh, from my personal point of view, that's the more reactive behavior. That means you have the very good feeling for the road. That means you really can feel the road through the steering wheel. So what did you focus on the most when you were doing the Nürburgring development, Nürburgring testing? The Nürburgring testing really was that the car is, uh, like every Chiron, is really easy to drive. That means you really can go fast, you can use the full power, you can use the new drive mode, and just go, especially you can go for drifting, but everyone can do it. That means really you have to get used to the car, of course. And you have to have some driver skills, but it's really an easy to drive car. If I'm, which I'm not, unfortunately, a customer for a Chiron Plus Pod, and I say like, okay, I would like to get the best out of it with this car. Do you offer some sort of like driver trainings or? Uh, like... We have, of course, a lot of ideas how to get a better approach for new customers mm -hmm. um, to learn about these lateral um, activities, these possibilities. Chiron, post Paul only track days. I mean, who knows? That, uh, that would be nice. We can do some, something at the Nürburgring. That would, <laughs> that would be awesome. When I was presented the opportunity to go with this car, I was thinking like, okay, this is absolutely awesome, but I did not want to set any sort of expectations of course I would expect like the, the the performance in terms of the acceleration which was definitely there and like mind-blowing it it's actually so linear that you sometimes really have to look at speedometer because like oh my god am, are we doing already 300 plus but what absolutely surprised me the most was actually the way the chassis handled in terms of suspension because we exited foxhole over the curbstone and that's a, like a very unsettling part, also going downhill or in Foxhole. And we have a lot of, um, let's say, parts which can adapt to the speed. And one important part probably to have this luxury and driving dynamic uh, behavior is the control dampers. Yeah. The car's measuring within six milliseconds okay. to get a different force on the wheel, so very fast. And this is the possibility, of course, that we can have the car moving. And if necessary, and if you go for cornering, then the dampers are there and you have safety, stiffness and predictable 
driving behavior. So you, you've done quite some testing on the Nürburgring. Let's, uh, maybe you can answer some Nürburgring nerd facts. Uh, how many laps can you do on the tank of fuel? <laughs> oh, if I get, uh, let me say four. <laughs> four laps. And how big is the fuel tank? 100 liters. <laughs> and in terms of tires, can you say something about that? How long they would last? Nah, we, let's say like... Of course eight. you have a safety margin that as a test yeah. driver you, you have like a fixed exactly. number. But exactly. So we, 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 of course we look at them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's eight to ten laps. Eight to ten laps. Okay. That's, uh, yeah. For 1500 horsepower, because again that's the uh, Cup 2R that you're running. That's Michelin Cup 2R. Yeah. And uh, the wear of the tire is very good, but uh, very um, homogeneous. Yeah. Um, but of course, if you just let the 1,500 horsepower on all four wheels, you yeah. can immediately spin all four wheels, and, this, and then it depends really on your driving style. But of course, of course, we want to see where the limit is. So, like, an eight to ten laps, then uh, yeah. we're over. Tom, you got some good shots. Dude, I filled four cards. <laughs> can't stop <laughs> i'll let you do it go on do cool it. thanks well i guess that's it for today guys and again it's a mind-blowing speechless exclusive opportunity i cannot come with enough words that would describe this ex experience so massive thank you to bugatti for inviting me for this unique passenger lap in this very unique car by itself but also being a prototype development car and also a big thank you to Nürburgring for offering us a unique time slot exclusive time slot where we could experience the car to its full potential all I can say to finish the video if you are in a position to get a Chiron Puspo and you were wondering whether it is actually built for the track and it was not just a marketing talk you should get one you're gonna have a blast I can tell you after experiencing it here on the Nürburgring Queen Nordschleife the most demanding most awesome racetrack go for it and make me very jealous and everyone else in the world thanks for watching guys for more Nürburgring videos make sure to subscribe for, to the channel and uh, hopefully we'll get more opportunities to experience this car and many others see you bye bye you gotta tell me more about the dead bugs oh we oh yeah. when did that happen oh there's something <laughs> that's new. entering the car from the wrong side okay <laughs> <laughs> oh um, hmm. yeah, yeah yeah okay i mean if we look at the car you can see a lot i mean yeah no but but uh, i like it i like the how you like just like you show that the car is actually being used and developed